hello and welcome back to my channel everyone it is your girl cassandra olivia and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a color touch up on a client who has not been here since i think it was like seven or eight months since she came in i'll double check the facts but long story short she's coming in to get her hair color touched up i have her previous video on my channel but i will be sure to link it down below as well so without further ado if you have not already hit that subscribe button i'm giving you guys some free game today so i'm going to show you guys how i'm doing her color touch up also switching up some of the uh products that i use to touch her up to get the same result so there's like i said more than one way to skin a cat that's the old saying even though it's kind of weird but i want to show you guys like a different way to approach things and i also will be toning and everything in this video as well i initially was just going to record this for instagram but i decided to post it on youtube um i'm not going to show the end style I'm just let you guys know i'm just going to show it like once it's trimmed and it's nice and even but i'm not going to show the end result just because um i'm not going to show you guys the end result because i don't have to explain it to y'all but just know that i'm showing you guys the color and that's what this video is focused on so i'm going in first and as you can see my client has a natural level one to two and i'm just trying to basically make her copper um vibrant bring that color up and also give her like a kind of coppery red shadow root so what i'm going to do first is go in with my sports cough blonde me and i'm going to go in with some seven volume developer by sports cough as well and i'm just going to go ahead and mix that and then i am going to apply that um, about a quarter inch away from the root all the way up until her hair gets to that light point you do not want to over um, overlap lightener on a previous lighting section because that's how you get banding in the hair we do not want to have banding so as you can see on the camera i'm just mixing up my lightener my developer um, and then I'm also going to add some Olaplex as well. And then once that's all mixed up, I'm going to start applying. So this is pretty simple. All you want to do is lift her up first where she's dark. Of course, do the roots last because if you do from root to end, the roots will be hot. They will be super, super bright. And we do not want that. We want to make sure it has an even lift. So even though I'm going in with lightener and developer for this client, you just want to make sure that you're placing it strategically. So that way you don't have to go back and try to overcorrect anything. So again, I'm not doing the roots first because we don't want to do hot roots. I'm also not overlapping her previous lighting section because we don't want that to get super light. So we're going to work kind of in the middle section first, then we're going to work on the roots and then um, we're going to leave the bottom section completely alone, like unscathed. Okay. So I just want to explain that to you guys in case you're like, why didn't she put it on in this way? do that at your own risk i'm telling you if you do it it's not gonna come out right you're gonna end up having to overcorrect, add color in to make the light part dark again you're gonna end up having to add darkness to the root if you have a hot root and it's just gonna add way more time to your service you're gonna end up using a lot more product and wasting a lot more money in products so we're always trying to work smarter not harder at least i am and yeah so in the beginning, I did detangle her hair. You want to make sure that you have a client with stretched or detangled hair. If they're natural, that's fine, but you just want to make sure that you brush through it and it's no kinks or tangles because that will make the hair coloring process go. Um, it'll take so much longer if they have like hair that's like tangled up. So you just want to try your best to stretch the hair. So I always section the hair in four sections and then I just go ahead and detangle. So that's what you see here. So again, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to apply the lightener. I did leave this in. I just sped it up so that way you guys don't get bored. But I will pop in um, where needed. And I will be sure to link all the things that you guys can get down below. Um, I typically link all the products that I use in my Amazon store as well as um, under in my description box. And I'll also be attaching like the Olaplex information if you guys want to purchase that. Um, if you are not licensed, you cannot get Olaplex number one and two however you can get olaplex zero and three and they work together at home so i always recommend that if you cannot get your hands on olaplex number one or two and you're not licensed you want to do at home treatment i recommend using olaplex zero and three and they work together as a system
so as you guys can see i just did the same thing on all four sections i don't know why i just sighed so hard like that i'm actually sitting in my car it's cold out i just got the kids on the bus and i'm like let me get this voiceover done because if i don't post this video up today i'm actually doing color clients the next three days and i just won't have time so excuse the uh rushed i guess kind of video it's not really rushed but like i'm trying to get this done so yeah i just did the same thing on all four sections i'm a creature of habits so always start in the back first and then i do the front but whatever is comfortable for you just make sure that you section the hair out and then um you just want to go over and make sure that you're double checking your work so i always consider this first layer of lightener like the rough draft and then after i'm done putting on this first layer of lightener i will go through and repart my sections just to make sure that everything is nice and even and i didn't miss any spots because you don't want to have any black spots that are not covered so you just want to double check your work um part different ways and just make sure that you have the saturation on the hair so that way you don't have to go back at the bowl and add lightener and let it sit to try to catch up some pieces that didn't um didn't lighten so i'm always super thorough after i double check i will go in and i will add some more lightener to the roots once i'm done applying the lightener to the roots i will go ahead and then rinse the hair out i will of course add olaplex number two to give her a treatment to make sure that the hair is nice and healthy and then i will go ahead and tone the hair so initially in my first video i used um two colors by rusk and it was the 7.4 cc and the 6 um 6r but for this client because i'm just lifting her i was like you know what let me just go in with some shades eq and just make her copper a little bit more vibrant um because it did fade just a tiny bit and then i'll go ahead and just use a different mixture to make like the shadow root without having to mix a whole entire color i can kind of get the process done a little bit easier rather than having her um reapply color all over and mix the color and all that it's a lot easier to apply toner when the hair is wet so that's why i decided to go with this technique Also, on another note, if you guys want more detailed tutorials, be sure to check out my membership. They're as low as a dollar and um, you can get some free, well, not free because it's a dollar, but you can get some like insight on tips and tricks that I use, different products. I do formula breakdown, pricing breakdown, all of that. So that way, if you guys want to do something like this, you know kind of where to charge or where to start and engage it based off of that. You don't have to charge my price. You can charge whatever you feel as though um, you should earn but just make sure you're not undercutting yourself i remember when i first started doing color i would literally charge a hundred dollars to do color and like fifty dollars if you wanted black um those days are long behind me but just a point of reference you always want to make sure that you're factoring in your time your product and also your education and your le level of expertise when you're pricing things out so that's that um, I did put a shower cap on her hair just to allow the roots to process and here I am I'm mixing a toner for her hair I'm actually going to mix two 
as you can see here it's a little blurry but i'm mixing 0.6 cb and i put the whole entire two ounces of that and then i'm just doing a half ounce of 5 rv as well as a half ounce of clear so that way it can dilute the reason why i added clear is because the 5 rv it's dark it's a level five so we already got her up to like a level seven and i don't want to make her hair too dark because then it basically is like no point of me lifting her hair if i'm going to just make it dark brown again or dark red so i added clear because i do want to add some red to her hair but i don't want to make it too dark and like a burgundy red so what clear does is it allows for the color to deposit but it deposits um, a, a lot slowly or much slower i don't know if i said that correctly but it just gives you time so that way you're not standing over the client and then you look away for two seconds and her hair is dark red so the clear allows for it to change but it gives it a slower pace of change so that way you can kind of monitor how much is depositing in and then you watch it like a hawk so here i'm mixing her root formula so i'm going in with the same shades and this is the thing i like to do often if you don't have a lot of the different shades eq you can actually use the same shade and get different results so for this formula i'm adding 5 rv one ounce i'm not adding any clear and then i'm also going to just add in the shades eq um developer um two ounces of that and then i just added a little a tiny bit of the red kicker it's just pure red and you add it inside of your formula just to give you like a coppery red undertone when i first used the red kicker i thought that it was going to be like a bright red but it's actually more copper and that's what we're going for a copper red so i'm going to apply that first formula that i mixed all the way um root to end that is going to be her all over color and then once i'm done applying that i'm going to go ahead in and apply her um toner to her root because i want to give her like a nice root melt but nothing too drastic where you see like a line of demarcation so here i also toned in sections i'm giving you guys a lot of free games i hope you all taking notes <laughs> but um because her roots and her mids were all like the same yellow color and then her ends were a lot darker i actually did her root to end and then right where i stopped was where that previous copper was i saved that for absolute last the reason being is because i want to allow the roots to the mids to turn that coppery color and then go ahead and just make everything copper and like uniform with the toner if i went ahead let's say and added the toner from root to tip on top of that previous copper section then it would make that previous copper section darker so then you will get like an ombre effect to where it'll be like a light copper at the top super dark copper at the top because it's copper on top of copper and it's just it's absorbing into the hair and it's a processing so i did the root to where that yellow stops where i lighten let that sit for about five minutes and then once it started turning copper then i went ahead and pulled it through then once i was done that i went in with that second formula which is that red that doesn't have any clear in it and i apply that to the roots and i just use my fingers and kind of just ran my fingers through to get a nice blend and you guys will see what i mean in a few i'm not necessarily trying to change the color on the ends because she wanted like a reddish copper color i'm just trying to retone it to make sure that it's nice and vibrant and it has like a nice flow and it has a nice blend so enjoy this application and i will be back shortly and of course make sure that when you're doing color you are using olaplex or a brazilian bond builder something that's going to keep the bonds of the hair strong i know redkin has one now um, whatever you use just make sure that you're adding products in to make sure that the hair is nice and healthy and you can also charge additional for that too um, another thing i will say because i'm going to hop off here in a few is i'll show you guys the matrix keep me vivid i always use this for my hair color clients that is a shampoo and conditioner they also have a leave-in spray that you can apply so that way when you're pressing the hair and you're washing the hair the color is not fading out because we don't want to do this color just for it to fade out so i always use a keep me vivid shampoo and conditioner as well as well as the lamination spray that you put in prior to blow drying and then i also will add in olaplex number six that's what you put in before blow drying it just helps to keep the hair nice and healthy and it also eliminates frizz so i'm going to apply this once i'm done i'm just going to rinse her out and show you guys what it looks like after i'm done blow drying i didn't want to bore you guys to death and i didn't want to make this video super long but as you can see even on the camera how dark this toner is uh, coloring and how it looks don't freak out sometimes when you put in toner it will look so dark 
but you just have to trust and believe that it's going to do what it needs to do and for whatever reason you feel like it's pulling too dark feel free to rinse a section because if you have additional toner you can always reapply it if you, if you need it to get a little bit more of that like color deposited so right now it looks very very phoenix like dark red into orange but i promise you it's just going to be like a red into copper and it's not going to be super dark at all so that's one thing i just want to mention and here is the keep me vivid so i'm just pressing the last section of her hair again i used the olaplex number six um to blow her out as well as the matrix um lamination spray but then once i was done blowing her out i also did use some leaf and flower molecular oil as well as some um influence s3 spray so that way i can keep everything nice and um smooth um once i was done trimming her hair um actually it was a haircut because she hadn't been here in a while so she definitely needed a lot cut off I added a few snippets to that once I was done cutting her hair then I just went ahead and um, added a little bit of that leaf and flower anti frizz spray because her hair was giving just a little bit of frizz and static so I just sprayed a little on my hand and ran it through and then she was pretty much good to go so I'm going to add the trimming here and again I'm not going to show the end result guys but thank you guys so much for watching I, I'm not going to show the end result as far as the style let me say that because all I did was like bump her ends but um I didn't want to put my client on camera she didn't want to be like too much in the camera so i'm going to respect her wishes and i was so thankful that she let me record her so we're just going to do what you know we got to do so i'm just going to go ahead and trim her ends and then this is pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys how i did the color touch up and how I also create a little bit of like dimension in a shadow root using the same exact color just in a different way and if you like this video and want to see more detailed tutorials be sure to sign up for my membership and if not I'll be dropping more videos like this too for the people that don't want to grab that I understand um so just drop down in the comments some hair color combinations that you want to see because um once the busy season slows down a little bit I will be doing mannequin hair colors again and I'll be doing like requests only so drop down like if you want to see like bright colors and then if you see a comment that you like just like it so that way it'll kind of boost it on my feed and I can see like okay somebody requested purple again they got 20 likes we're going to do purple so I'll do it like that but with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive week. I'm wishing all my veterans out there happy veterans early for tomorrow. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the future. I'm so excited and my voice is cracking. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.